Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, I got a... Not too much of a battle, but I, I am going to taste two different whiskeys to see whether or not one is worth the purchase. I can tell you now, I'm going to say no. Okay, not because I've tasted it, but because it's the same brand. And uh, But I got to let you guys know, I got to tell you uh, about... Uh, these whiskeys that are coming out so I bit the bullet for you guys I wanted to let you know what I'm getting from this but I, I can just tell you off the bat um, it's Barton 1792 for the first time ever they actually marked it on the bottle now so now it's saying from um, the master distillers uh, at our 1792 master distiller and right here what we got is the single barrel chestnut farms there is a, seven, a 1792 single barrel, but it does not come uh, at this proof point, which is 125 proof. The closest thing to it is the full proof 1792. Uh, this happens to be a single barrel uh, from 1792. So I thought, well, why not just do a quick comparison? Really not uh, go into detail on flavors because we all know 1792 is a pretty good product. And I have done a review where I compared Chestnut Farms, their 90 proof against the 94 proof uh, 1792 small batch, 1792 small batch. And um, of course, 1792 small batch came out far and above ahead. Um, and this is their bottling bond, which of course comes in at 100 proof. And again, um, I did not do a, a uh, comparison between the two. I kind of figured what, which one was going to be better. But this one right here, I thought, why not? This is called single barrel. This is a single barrel from uh, 1792 because uh, there's a sticker on it that said so. It's a pick. So are you better off buying 1792 or buying a much more expensive knockoff? Which, is it really a knockoff because they come out from the same company? The only thing is, why, why aren't they making uh, 1792, just 1792 and they're, they're putting it in separate bottles? I don't know, it's confusing for me. Uh, the mash bill is rumored to be at 75 four corn, uh, 18 rye, and then you got 8% uh, percent on the malted barley. That is, of course, a rumor that has not been verified or formally released by uh, Barton, which both of these uh, are Barton, and uh, both of these are parent companies. Their parent companies are uh, Buffalo Trace and Saz, Sazerac, so man uh why did i buy it i don't know i don't know i saw it i said i wasn't gonna buy it because i know what it is but um i saw the box and i thought man somebody's got to review it and i know that nobody is dumber than me <laughs> so i thought yeah why not get it uh heck heck i bought the other two already might as well uh go ahead and and uh review this one the Ball and Bond came out, of course, at a whopping $99. And then, of course, they went, the price got cheaper as, since this is a cardboard, they went cheaper because this is wood right here with nice uh, stenciling, uh, uh, you know, pretty nice uh, little thing. I guess, I don't know if they're trying to go for the Booker's look or whatever, but, uh, they, you know, of course, this, this box is a little bit cheaper. No, no, it's not. It's not cheaper. Uh, but it's all it's all it's all in fun it's all just to give uh you guys some 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 content let you know about uh some of these products and of course i gotta do i i sometimes i just gotta do it you know that's just the way my mind works so uh one person to thank for uh, subscribing thank you uh nico frato uh Ferrato for uh joining uh the family appreciate you thank you for taking this journey with me and of course thank you to the patreons patrons um just can't thank you enough mark emenecker just 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 signed up and and i really appreciate you mark and uh everybody else love you guys thank you for your support and uh you're the reason why i keep keep going forward just keep moving just keep moving just keep moving but um 
yeah so uh that's all i got on this i mean they sazerac has a a couple of um different different uh distilleries like this like chestnut farm so i mean i mean if you're looking for 1792 because all that they're just putting that juice in there rumored it's the rumor but black ridge i mean they have their bourbon and then they have their port uh reserve port bourbon uh stone hammer and uh two stars and uh, i believe woolcott and but woolcott actually again put 1792 on there and i don't think i've seen anything over 100 on uh, the woolcott so probably pretty soon uh the pricing of course is a little bit more uh reasonable Whereas these ones, you know, uh, I think this one right here is like $65, $99. And then the whopping, uh, I think it today was like $125. Uh, I got it under um, MSRP because of a discount that I had uh, from, from, uh, from, a, from, a, from a cool place. So, so uh, yeah, anyways, cheers, everybody. Appreciate you all, and I'm gonna go ahead and should I? I'm gonna go in on the nose on the new one. Uh, in the glass, uh, this 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 one actually looks darker. In the in the uh, bottle, it actually looks darker. In the 1792 bottle, this one looks fairly light, but in the glass, this one actually looks darker. Uh, it gives you some nice. Uh, a nice coating on there for uh, this is the uh, 1792 if you can if it's focusing it in right for me but uh yeah so here we go 1792 you get that it's a nice sweet aroma very uh, there, there is some alcohol tones on this Again, with Kentucky whiskeys, I, I get somewhat of a meaty, sweet meat taste or aroma to it. And uh, this one's no different. Let me go in on the nose on the 1792. Ooh, this, this is actually a little lighter. I was getting a little bit more flavor, a little bit more of that, that, that toasted or charred oak. And a little bit more sweetness on this one right here. This one seems a little lighter. A lot lighter, actually. I can take a deeper breath and I ain't getting so much of that alcohol aroma or that alcohol presence. Still got those sweet flavors, some nice sweet apples. Uh, on this one mostly, this one has a little bit more caramel rich flavors to it. This one has a caramel apple, but it's just so light. All right, so I'm gonna go in on a taste on this one. Appreciate you all. <laughs> yeah, tongue twister right there. Appreciate you all. Uh, cheers. Thank you for your support. Well, this is the neck pour. Really coats the mouth. And I'm gonna tell you right now, no matter what, I will not buy a second bottle of this it's and it's actually pretty good but these are pretty good also and this is also barton a lot of cinnamon you do get that toasted oak toasted it's almost like a toasted almonds very rich in flavor in the back end you get some some nice coffee tones and when i first poured it i also started getting some aroma of, 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 of coffee grounds I didn't get it so much uh, now, but uh, when I first opened it, poured it in, I was like, wow. I can tell you that it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There is some drying to it now because it's starting to dry the palate. Of course, it's at 125 proof, so it's going to happen on a lot of higher proof whiskeys. Um, I'm probably, I'm not going to cleanse my palate on these because I want to I mean, they're, it's Barton, and they're both Barton, and I want to see if one overpowers the other. So I'm going to go ahead and go in on the on the taste on this one without even taking a second taste on it. Actually, the dryness only, it started to dry, but then it actually started making my, you know, getting some salivation there so that uh, 
uh, it brought back some moisture to my mouth. So I, it's, it's actually not as drying as I thought it was going to start to be. And I was getting drunk. I was going to try to hurry up and drink this one, but no, not so much. Not so, not so bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And now you're, I'm getting all the, uh, the oak tannins. It's not tannicky, but there, there are some, some oak flavors on, on the back of the palate. Some of that, uh, sweet, uh, tobacco is, is, is gone. That, that coffee was, was really brief, but cheers you all again. I'm going to go in on the 1792. This is, is more tobacco forward, more of a peppery spice on the tongue. You got that, that uh, nice sweet cigar flavor. Yeah, I mean, I think they're com somewhat comparable, but if you're looking for a nice box and you're looking for something that says uh, made by 1792, instead of just getting 1792 then this is this is actually the bottle for you otherwise at $58 for the without it being uh with a with a sticker on it the normal expression a full proof still 125 proof i still think you're going to get more of you're going to get a better deal than you would buying buying a uh single barrel foolproof basically and then uh and getting a box I, I i still think you're not gonna do anything but the box it's just gonna sit around anyways so you might as well get this in my opinion over what you're getting here there's just so much it's still that one never felt like it was gonna dry my tongue this one had a quick brief i was like uh oh a little bit of drying there this one right here i don't that's that's not that's not present at all so i'm gonna go in for it real quick see how much it overpowers it i don't think this overpowered that but i don't think I, I think there was more flavors to choose from from this one and this one um was was still good it had a lot of flavors just more of a cinnamon cinnamony type flavor to it this one had more of a peppery with darker flavors darker richer flavors Yeah, I mean, I, I ain't saying this is a bad experience at all. If you're, if you're, like I said, if you're looking for a box and you're looking for um, a, a decent flavor, and it's it's good. I, I can't take it, I take that away from it at all. But I can say that it's Barton 1792 foolproof. It's definitely that. So I mean, and. Uh, that, that's that's where I stand on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying there's not a difference in flavor. Single barrels, two different two different two different flavors. But this single barrel 1792 is going to taste different than another 1792 single barrel, which I think I think this one was around $80 because uh, it was a store pick still still better uh, still better price still better um, value uh, than the uh, chestnut farm so there you have it folks that's all I got for you really appreciate you again all of you who have uh, taken this journey with me I can't thank you enough and I'll see you on the next one have a good morning afternoon and good night Whatever time you're watching this, appreciate you. Thank you.